There is a very huge Graven badge to Manchester United boost that really kicks out Liverpool and obviously Max United, a very, very, very big favorite when it comes to the signing of Ryan Gravenbach from Bayern Munich to Manchester United. Good morning guys, how are you? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. We thank God for the gift of life. It's a Monday and 28th of August. That is it. And here we come to bring you the latest news and information. My Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufikum, we thank Allah for the gift of life he's giving unto you. Not so? Hope you guys are really having a blast of your life. Now, <coughs> we are talking Harry Maguire. It's a shocker that he is now open to leaving Manchester United and join West Ham. We are going to really dive deep into that who broke the story and which other tier one journalists went ahead to add more beef to that stay onto this channel so it has to provide you onto all those updates and lastly don't even the bing situation eric ten Hag wants him gone but who is trying to take him on let's see close to 400 likes much on this video and don't forget to subscribe now buy and build <laughs> we're the first to obviously break the story this is build germany and it's like another another credible source coming in from bayern munich confirming to us that bayern are considering manchester united midfielder scott mctominy as low as as loan target for the number six position in the remaining days of the market manchester united want the scottish man to leave in return gravenbach could join the Red Devils on loan, according to Build Germany. Now, <clears throat> this is a credible source coming in from Germany, revealing to us that Scott McTominay is badly wanted by by <coughs> Bayern Munich. Then Christian Falk, another close source to Bayern Munich, and a credible journalist, Tia One journalist, confirmed us that Bayern Munich are interested in Scott McTominay on loan. El Swap or a swap loan deal with Ryan Grunvach is being discussed. So, United are finally trying to figure out on getting in the players that they want, like Ryan Grunvach. He's one of the many that Everton Hag has always wanted ever since the January transfer window of this year. He wanted him on loan. Bayern Munich said, no, we are not giving out our player and we are not giving him out for you on a loan so that's what eric ten Hag really wanted and now looks like all <laughs> all pointers are really signaling that scott mctominy might leave for bayern munich a move that united will obviously want to see him go to that side because if he goes for bayern munich and plays very well then you'll see the difference in what we call the amount of money they are going to obviously get from the player. And they'll be there celebrating that. Yeah, we really had a very good idea of really snubbing the 30 million pound bid coming in from West Ham for Scott McTominay to obviously cross from Manchester United to the London side. And it will work well for them that they've gone ahead to use Scott McTominay to get in Ryan Gravenbach. And for Scott McTominay, I think it will be good for him because um, he'll go <laughs> he'll go down in Germany and do the business. So let's wait and see how that pans out, and let's talk about Ryan Gravenbach. Ryan Gravenbach coming in through on loan doesn't stop the coming in of Sofian Amrabat because most of you might be asking them yourselves, what if he comes in through and you need not go in for Amrabat? Remember, would have gone ahead to lose two or three midfielders and let in and let in one. Or two, because Mason Mount that would have gone ahead to act as a stumbling block for the, for the coming in of two midfielders is also injured, meaning that we need in two midfielders. That is Ryan Gravenbach and Amrabat. For Amrabat, it's going to be a cash out deal. United is going to pay between 21 million pounds, between 20 and 21 million pounds for Sofian Amrabat. And then for Ryan Gravenbach, it will be a deal that obviously sees him come to Manchester United in a way that will help United, especially as far as the salaries are really concerned. To my own my own understanding, um, Scott McTominay earns 
earns close to 140,000 pounds a week, <clears throat> right? When you look at Ryan Gravenbach, he earns, mm, I think even Ryan Gravenbach earns the same amount of money at Bayern Munich. That is it, because he earns close to 140,000 pounds a week, meaning that we'll be replacing in a player that the manager comes in through for Scott McTominay, who is not yet ready to do the job that Ten Hag really wants. And I just can't imagine a midfield of United that has Graven Batch and Sofian Amrabat because we are going to be having a highly contested midfield. <laughs> that is it. And that means whichever player goes on the field of play, he will be obviously getting in the best out of the club, uh, out of himself to represent the values of Manchester United because some games he can even go Amrabat, Graven Batch, Casimiro. He can go Casimiro, Graven Batch, and Bruno Fernandes. He can go Ryan Graven Batch, Sofian Amrabat, Bruno Fernandes, or Ericsson. He can go Casimiro, Amrabat, and Ryan Graven Batch because Graven Batch can as well play as a central attacking midfielder. I believe if we bring in those two, then this season will be one of those that we are going to highly compete for different positions and trophies that are really available. If we get in Amrabat, we get in um, Graven Batch 2, trust me, even the Premier League will have a say on it. Because look at that team of, look at that game of Nottingham Forest. If you have either Graven Batch or Sofian Amrabat playing alongside Casemiro, trust me, they don't survive swallowing in five because we will press them and obviously having more brilliant players on the ball and that will help Casemiro obviously advance if he is playing with Sofian Hamrabat. Even if Casemiro is playing with Gravenbach in that double pivot, Gravenbach will cook out things, you know, because he's an adventurous player, industrious in that position and will get us to where we want to be as a club of Manchester United. So I'm just excited to see these deals coming in through. And if at all this is a long deal, it's going to be something easy for United to craft out in a nick of time. So we are having Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, four days. And let's see whether these two deals will come to pass between Man United and Bayern plus um, plus uh, Fiorentina. So that's it coming in from <coughs> the camp of um that is it coming in from the camp of Bayern Munich as far as Graven Bunch is concerned, but it's a very huge boost that every United fan would like to jubilate about. Now let's go to the other story coming in from coming in <coughs> from uh Alex Nixon, the first person to break this story that West Ham have reopened talks with Manchester United to sign Harry Maguire, but they are well short of nothing. They are well short of doing the deal. The Hammers are trying to find a way to pay a lead or more to help United to pay off Maguire. That is it. Then after that, Fabrizio Romano also threw in a very exclusive source that Harry Maguire is now open to making a long move in the final days of the window. However, Manchester United are not interested in letting him live on loan and would prefer a permanent sell to bring in a replacement. Then he added on and said, there is a potential now for Harry Maguire to join West Ham. The centre-back is the, chance, the centre back has changed his mind and is now open to making a loan deal in the final days of the window. So, for my case, <laughs> I would love to see him leave on a permanent deal as the club is really wanting. And whatever West Ham is putting on the table, let it be £30 million. Pounds. <clears throat> I think we should take it and take the 20 and see to it that we get in some 10 million pounds to go on and really cover up for his salaries. That is it because he's not going to be used by Eric Ten Hag. If Ten Hag used him <coughs> preserving or sparing last season, this is when you don't see Eric Ten Hag using him a lot. And I anticipate if Sofian Amrabat comes in at Man United, you're going to see to it that Eric Ten Hag is using 
Eric Ten Hag is using Harry Maguire more as, sorry, is using Casemiro sometimes as a central defender. That is it with Sofian Amrabat and maybe Ryan Gravenbach playing into the double pivot for Manchester United. And I think Ten Hag has sounded it out to the board and to, to the player himself, Harry Maguire, that he's not in his plans and he's not going to get enough playing time. And if I told you an agent of Harry Maguire, you just don't want to miss out on the Euros because the only shine and hail he has been gating was coming in from the English national team. That is for Harry Maguire. And I think it should be some good news it, it, that this man finally makes up his mind to really pack his bags and leave Manchester United. Three games in, he hasn't, <coughs> he hasn't played a single game. He hasn't played a single minute for Manchester United. <laughs> that is Harry Maguire for you. So, I anticipate this deal is going to come to pass and Harry Maguire is going to move to West Ham and West Ham are going to sign the player and see him obviously leave and obviously do the needful to get in a replacement. That is to Debo that United is 100% interested in. Now, after that, let's pray to it that Harry Maguire leaves. Let's talk about another midfielder that United wants to leave. Now, Fabrizio Romano again throwing into another story that contacts are continuing to find a solution for Tony van der Beek. Negotiations are still ongoing with Real, with Real Sociedad, but it's not been easy. Now, you know, this is how you find it hard to sell a player who has been injury prone for some time, <coughs> not playing games. The chance he got last season, last season to play games, he just played like three, four games, and he lost his knee, and he underwent a surgery that saw him be that saw him be out for close to six months. Now, these clubs coming in for him are a little bit worried of what they are going to do for this guy. But I really anticipate he's really doing the needful to obviously keep himself fit, and I think we should obviously cash in for the player. But if at all you tell me of Scott McTominay and Donny Van de Beek. Who do you want to leave first? I want Scott McTominay to leave first because he's leaving. Either gets such Ryan Gravenbach or gets us 30 million pounds to get in another midfielder. That is it. But for Donny van der Pink, I think he can play a role into the team of Man United if at all he keeps himself fit. Even if he's not sold and there's no suitor for him, he can come good because of his talent that Ten Hag is well versed about so we wait and see how that is going to pan out in between man united and rio sociedad on the matter of brand graven leaving for the club of rio sociedad that plays in the liga so guys i call upon your thoughts onto the huge ryan graven to man united boost this morning as we are swapping scott mctominy for ryan graven can you go for that business Tell me your thoughts about that. Harry Maguire now open to join West Ham. What do you make about it? And Donny van der Beek working out hard to leave for Rio Sociedad. I sign up for now. See you later. Good morning. Hope you guys are really having a wonderful morning. And my Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufikum, the Christians, I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And may living to God bless you abundantly and give you the best that you guys desire and deserve this is the united matters channel it is the man united transfer news show we are going to be having a busy last four days of the transfer window and guys charge your phones and tablets that's why i always tell you that subscribe and hit the notification bell such that those notification appear onto the screen of your ipad asthma tv and um, phones. Peace out.